Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a little something different planned, kind of. So right now I'm actually recording the intro on my brand new Sony a6400 camera. Normally I use this guy right here, but I dropped it in some water yesterday and it's been acting a little funny. So I'm gonna try this camera out just for the introduction. Hopefully the audio is all right. Hopefully the picture is all right. I don't know. Today, Caitlin right now, she's getting ice and some drinks. And we're gonna head offshore and scoot around for a few hours between 250 and 800 feet of water. We're gonna look for some mahi and then we're gonna go back in shore to about 130 feet of water. And we're gonna do a little wire verse mono test. We're gonna drift the bottom for mutton snapper. We're gonna have wire on one rod and we're just gonna have straight mono on the other. Cause everyone says you can't catch muttons on wire. I do it all the time. People say you get more bites on mono. So you know what? We'll just drift both of them next to each other and see what happens. Don't forget the bass. While heading offshore, we spot a big school of tuna breaking the surface. Look at them jump. So we decided to troll some feathers. There's a couple frigate birds flying around. It looked pretty good. But after 10 minutes or so without a hit, we decided to move further offshore. We spend the next hour or so cruising in the tower, looking at weed patches, and trying to find some mahi under them. Go, 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 we got mahi, we got mahi. Get your chunk, oh yeah. We got Mahi behind the boat. Get your chunk out there. Right behind the boat. Yeah, toss that chunk. Remember, let them eat it. They don't want the chunks. Oh, I just had one eat my chunk. Bam! Oh, he spit it out. Are you kidding me? Where are you going? Hundreds of mahi and they're not eating our chunks. All right, well, I'm gonna put a live bait on. Let's see if they eat that. Let's see if they eat a live... Uh... Where are they at? Those dirty bastards. They didn't want chunks or live bait, so we tried trolling some plugs. They're going for my lure. There's a whole bunch of mahi right over there. Wow, they're everywhere. Man, these are some stubborn mahi. The mahi are stubborn and won't bite anything, but I did get a mark on the bottom of some fish down 200 feet. So I drop a vertical jig and boy, does it get bit. Woo yeah, I go. Oh my yeah. gosh. Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Yeah! <laughs> Stoked! Stoked! Yeah, I can. 
I got all day, buddy. Right? I don't. I got all day. If he's smart, he would just call it a day, throw in the white flag, and swim straight to the boat. Preferably, saute himself on the way up. Oh, oh he's coming. He's yeah, listening I gotta to me. Him. He listened. We're it. Doesn't happen often where the fish actually listen to me. I'm thinking AJ maybe. Okay. On the vertical jig, so. Yeah, big AJ. Bam! It's beautiful. It's huge. All right. It's a big fish. He's one inch undersized, so he gets to go back in. There he goes. Straight down. Cool, babe. So we ran offshore looking for the mahi. We did find, like, we were in a school of, I don't know, how many were there? Like 100 plus? There's mahi everywhere we trolled through them we threw them chunk bait we pitched them baits they didn't want anything i even threw them alive and they didn't eat it and that's how mahi fishing goes sometimes so now we came back we're off the reef's edge and we're gonna bottom drift for mutton snapper and we're gonna do wire versus mono so we got the the stinger tip rig which is uh, about six inches of wire to a treble hook and then we got the South Florida Fishing Channel size 4 circle hook going straight to pound 30 mono. This is also to pound 30 mono. There's about 20 feet of this mono going to a, a weight and then we just drift that down here on the bottom. Bam! Those are the stinger eggs. Those are the circle hooks. Bump, bump, bump. Leave a comment you, which one you think is going to catch the first fish. We're going to rig them up. Both of them we're going to rig with a strip of fresh bonita that we caught two days ago with Topher and his son CJ. That was a fun video, just like that. And here's the circle hook. Just hook it one time so it's got a nice flowy, flowiness down there. Boom, just like that. All right, let's send them on down. Put on a fresh piece of Bonita strip. Flick it on out there. We got our loop here. Just clip your loop in. Send her on down to the bottom. Bam, on the bottom, put it in the rod holder. Now you wait. This rod's got the wire on it. And then Caitlin's up there working the rod with the mono and circle hook. And then back there, we got a big old storm brewing. So we'll, we'll see which gets hit first. The rods are us. Oh yeah, come on, come on. The wire's getting hit right now. Mm. Didn't get hooked though. Come on, come on. I'm getting nibbles on mine. Yes, I'm on. I'm on. Yeah. On the wire. On the wire. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. You know what's crazy? We got our we got a hit on the wire and now we got a hook up on the wire and the mono hasn't even been nibbled at. Mm -hmm. Would not have thought that. I mean, but it could be a pure luck thing, who knows? Still fighting to the top. I hope it's not a trigger fish. Here's the weight. Ah. Oh, is that a mutton? Yeah! Mutton on the wire, yeah, baby! Yeah. Woo! All right, he looks like he's probably just 18 inches. Yeah. Treble hooks are freaking terrifying. Okay. I have mad fingers crossed right now. Come on, baby, 18 inches. He is 18 though, for sure, so. Oh my God, he's 18 and a half inches. We got ourselves some dinner. Some of that Key West pink dinner, right freaking there. Wow, does he look pretty or what? Yeah. Fish on! Oh my Caitlin's God. got one! Woo! Oh yeah, nice and steady. Man, I feel like I'm gonna fall off the boat. Caitlin's got a fish on the mono. Looks like the mono and the wires are seem to just be equal battle battling epicness, fish meat, hungry. Let's see what you got. You're gonna be able to handle this weight flip? No, you're gonna do it. Okay. Oh, I guess the weight already came off. Oh well, whatever. Oh, mutton! That's a good one. Boom! That's a keeper. Oh yeah! Yeah, babe! Wow. No, it's, I, I should take it too. Wow. That's a good one. Yeehaw. Oh yeah, oh, fish on, fish on! On the wire, on the wire! Bring him on up, slow and steady. Oh yeah, he's yeah, coming baby. up. Nice. <laughs> Woo -wee. He bent that rod on over. Yeah, I did. Probably another keeper. Oh. Oh, sh oh god, what was that? Ah, uh, I lost my weight too, I think. No, nope, no, I still got a weight. What is oh, that? Oh no. What is it, a shark? I got a shark. Oh. I got a shark. At this point, I just won my weight back. It's right there. Yeah! I popped him off. All right. Woo! I got my weight. Okay. That, that is one of the perks of using wire, is you can get the sharks right up to the boat. I just grabbed my weight because lead is expensive and I just popped them off, so he swam off. Wow, that was a blast. There is a fish. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Fish, fish out. Oh, did it get off? Ah, dang it. Boom. Two fish in the box, and not just any fish. Mutton snapper, delicious, white, flaky, crispy, buttery. Mm. Mutton snapper. So we got one fish on the wire, one fish on the mono. What, one or two bites on the mono? And then we got, I think, two or three bites on the wire. About the same. I think if the fish are biting and you put the bait in front of them, if there's a little piece of wire on there, I think they're gonna eat it. But we got a storm over there. And then we got a storm over there, but the sandbar is right there, right where the sunshine is. We got enough meat on the boat, we're gonna head to the sandbar, enjoy the blue waters a little bit, and then we're gonna go and do our catch and cook. Just like that, we, we drove through a little rain, but now we're at the sandbar. 
gonna hop on in. There's a few other boats here. You can see them anchored around. Normally there's a lot more boats here, but it has been storming all day, so. Yeah. All right, let's, let's get a little Have wet. some fun. But first, let's take some pictures of the mutton snapper. Boop. With the brand new, my brand new Sony camera, the A6400. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, <laughs> this, whatever, this guy right here, I got it so we could take some quality pictures. So let's give it a test right now. Oh yeah, hold those fatties up. Good looking, good looking fish. Now time to get real fancy and take some freaking pictures. All right, let's see what this camera is made out of. Oh yeah, point and shoot, baby, point and shoot. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. All right. What are you doing? Oh, you know, Sam Barron. Oh, okay. <laughs> what am I doing? There's a storm a rolling in. Yeah, it's definitely it's coming. So we're gonna try to do this fast. What we got here is two beautiful muttons. Whose is bigger, mine or yours? I really think mine was. Yeah, no, yours was definitely bigger. But yours is definitely bigger. So yeah. <laughs> All right. So we don't have a proper flaying board because. We just, just moved, we just freaking moved into this place. Yeah, I've like been here like a week, one week. Yeah, we've been here a week, so we have no, we don't have a filet station, but I got, I got the bait boards. CJ, I'm watching you. We got your bait board here. It's the perfect substitute right now. Everyone's telling me I don't cut the ribs off and I'm wasting all that meat. You see that little section right here? Uh-huh, absolutely. But the truth is we use this meat to feed all the pinfish we got. None of this fish is wasted, but you know, we're gonna plant some coconut trees. Makes great fertilizer. Does it? Yeah. Really? That's great. Freaking just slaying through them. Yeah. Huge Make thank you to Alex for this knife right here. Beautiful. So there is a chunk of meat right here just yeah. littered with ribs. And we got a special of something we're gonna do with that, which, boom, kazam, it's not being wasted. I'm gonna skin this bad boy right here. Oh my gosh, Nico, you got the tape on that board? That board's about to go in. I got it. Okay. I know, it's, we're this super makeshift cutting board here. Nice, boom. beautiful Heiko. Our pet fish love us. There we go. Pet nice piece of mutton right there. Beautiful. Solid play. Bag it up! We got our mutton snapper filleted on up. We got our drink from Mr. Fungus once again. I almost finished your bottle, so <laughs> I'm, I might need a refill soon. So earlier today I put a post on YouTube asking you guys how you think I should cook this mutton snapper. And you guys had some really good recipe ideas out here. This one just kind of stuck out to me because it just sounded sweet and spicy and really good. Taste the Outdoors, formerly known as Cooking with Whitney, said Cajun seasoning. So I'm gonna put these in Cajun seasoning. We're gonna bake them a little bit. Then we're gonna make a sauce with sweet chili, honey, and lime and put that over it. We sliced some zucchini and squash, put some oil in here, salt and pepper. We're gonna put that in a pan. We're also gonna make some white rice. That'll be our side. So let's get to it. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in our glass pan. Here's the Cajun seasoning we're gonna use. Slap your mama Cajun seasoning. I've never tried it, but we're gonna give it a go. So I guess we use a lot, right? Like blackening almost, or? I'll just... You know, I'm not gonna overdo it, but I'm not gonna underdo it. Things like that, it's probably good. Mm -hmm. And then get this oil spread out in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I'll go ahead, season all these up. Boom! There's our mutton snapper seasoned up with that Cajun sensation. Oven's preheated at 375. I'll put that in there. Wow, it is nice to have an oven. <laughs> and we'll let that cook for about 10, 10 minutes that we're going to take it out and we're going to put 
this sweet chili sauce on it that I'm gonna make right now. So we got our sweet chili sauce. Okay, we got a problem. It doesn't wanna come out. There it comes. Uh, now we're gonna squeeze a lime into it. Got our lime, we'll s squeeze that one on in. We got our four limes squeezed in there, and then last but not least, we got some honey. And there wasn't really any measurement instructions which is my favorite because I like to wing everything, so that's probably a good amount of honey. Take a spoon and kind of just mix it up a bit. And that's our sauce. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. The fish has been in the oven for 10 long, delicious minutes. We also got our rice boiling and our uh, zucchini cooking there. You can see that the fish is white, but it's not fully cooked, so we just want to Add this on top. Wow, look at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Woohoo! And we'll stick that right back into the oven where it belongs. <laughs> Probably give it another another 10 or so minutes just until the fish is done about 10 minutes later and the party has officially started oh yeah wow that smells crazy good like it, it smells like too like so good yeah it smells real good we got our bed of rice here and I'm just going to take the fish, ooh, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Bam! Lay it right on top of the rice. I'm also going to ladle some of this juice out. Just pour it. Even better stuff. Whoa. And then we'll put our zucchini on there too. Now, should we give it a try? Yeah, we'll go outside. Welcome to the outdoors. Ah, uh, yes. The beautiful outdoors. Do a little party? It's a party out here. Shall we give it a try? Yeah, maybe. Okay, here's some rice with the fish and all the goodness. Wow. Mmm. I don't even know how to explain it. There's so many flavors going on. You can taste the Cajun, but it's just so sweet and a little spicy. You just want the rice to just soak up all the flavor and just eat it, all of it. Wow. Holy moly. Hot. I bet, just get out of the oven. We gotta go back inside so Caitlin, so Caitlin can make her plate. Yeah. That was just for show. Caitlin, are you gonna wanna be on camera trying this? I mean, I don't need to be, it's fine. Before I make your plate, Caitlin, and we have a nice romantic dinner, we gotta say goodbye to, to all our fans. And um, if you wanna support the channel, go get yourself some South Florida Fishing Channel these are the circle hooks that we caught a mutton on. We caught them on the stinger tips. We have a whole bunch of fishing rigs on SouthForFishingChannel.com. So thank you guys for watching another awesome episode and listening to my shameless plug on my own fishing rigs. So uh, hit that like button. 
boop, 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 boop. Just head down there right now and push it. You got like three seconds to push it. Push that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next fishing episode. Cheers. <laughs>